guys, what is going on? It's the Gaming Guru. Yeah, welcome back to another episode of the Academy. And today, there finally will be a Sunday episode. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember to hit that like and that subscribe button. And don't forget to follow my Instagram and my Twitter in the description below. And without further ado, let's get on to the gameplay. So, the first game I played today was for the right back upgrade of Nathaniel Klein to Ryan Taylor. We played Real Batiste and was no, no, all the way up into penalties. Like, seriously, this game was really. It was a pretty good game, but I mean, I just could not score it. My goalkeeper, Westwood, just was making save after save after save, that, and they were all incredible saves. <clears throat> And I nearly actually had a perfect penalty shootout. You'll see here in a minute. And uh, some of you who know about Ryan Taylor's stats might say, "Well, why are you going for a bit of a slow wing back? I'm going for him for his free kick stats because even though I do have a Luko who's not a bad free kick taker, or Taylor is a specialist in it, so I always like to have a good free kick taker." And as you can see here, I nearly had a perfect penalty shootout. But Pozuelo steps up and scores. Yeah. I was sad at that part. But here, all I had to do was score with Key, and we scored, and we won. And that allowed us to put Taylor into the team. And uh, finally, um. As I've already said at the beginning, we will have a Sunday episode. I'm very happy to finally get one of those out. And it's and that's going to be an exciting episode for me, at least. And I shall tell you why later. As you can see here, we are putting Ryan Tyler into the team. With my computer lagging immensely. And the second game of, the, of this episode is against San Luis from Mexico for... Uh, the center back upgrade of Kurt Zuma, the transferred version with, and we start off with Salah sending a nice ball into Aluko, who finishes off the off of the post. If you notice, I'm trying to score less sweaty goals, so I don't, so, so I'm not just constantly scoring sweaty goals. But anyway, pretty much right after that, Trellez just gets past all my players, and Fernandez volleys in for a goal to equalize. And then in the 24th minute, Aluko was dribbling past players and just tearing them to bits. He's breaking their ankles. Passes into Salah. Salah makes them makes the defenders collide and puts it in the top corner. And then, uh, um, okay, sure. It's, uh, my bad. Didn't mean to put that in. Uh, and then we have a ball here from Anita. Oh, there, there, there's the ball from Nisa to Salah to Aluko. This is a very nice passing movement that we put together here. Is I don't normally score score goals like this, but when I do, I always like them. A little fake shot there in the end from Sagbo to get the goal. And that was how the game ended. Three one. All the goals coming in the first half, and it, we only after this we only had one more non rare silver in the team, which was Yannick Sagbo. And we were going for the upgrade of Shane Long to replace Sagbo. And we had some tough games in this episode. We had um, two, three national teams. We had um, Real Batiste and Birmingham City. But uh, in the 51st minute, Tyler going down the wing, whipping it across, and Key putting in a nice volley past the goalkeeper. I think it was Jack Butland, actually. And... Uh, Ambrose gets tackled by Ryan Taylor again. Taylor sends the ball to Key. Key plays a brilliant ball in a Sagbo. Sagbo is running on through, and he scores on his to seal his way out of the team. And those were the stats there. I th I, I never have a lot of possession. Never, never. But anyway, guys, that allows us to get rid of Sagbo and put Shane Long in. And we will have a Sunday episode. And on Sunday, we're gonna be going for gold players. So make sure you don't miss that. I will see you guys on Sunday.